What's going on guys? Welcome back to another vlog and today we are at Fun Spot America Kissimmee here in Florida Just 25 minutes down the road from SeaWorld which we were at earlier today And we're also going to be going back to at night So if you haven't already seen that vlog be sure to check it out it should already be up on the channel I'm excited to be back here at Fun Spot Kissimmee. It's a contender for the nicest of the fun spots There's a really beautiful body of water in the middle the amount of rides that are actually like surprisingly high quality here is pretty impressive. Mind Blower is a very awesome wooden roller coaster that's sporting some new retract RMC sections. That should be very interesting. I'm curious to see how smooth it is now because a lot of people do think that that ride is a little rough. As well as that, this place has some of the best go-karts on the planet. They also have the world's tallest sky coaster, which is probably going to be the scariest ride we've ever been on, ever. And of course, we are joined here with Wooden it's Warrior me Girl. again. I'm really excited to see what this park is like. <laughs> so far, the only fun spot I've been to is Fun Spot Atlanta. So this is supposed to be an improvement over that. I'm really excited to see what it's like. I'm excited for Mind Blower, and I'm really scared of the Sky Coaster. I've also never done go-karts before, so I'm excited to see what that's like. It's funny how her first go-karts are about to be some of the my most extreme My first Sky ever. Coaster is the top. I've also never done a Sky Coaster. So my first Sky Coaster is the world's tallest, and my first go-karts are gonna be like the best. Yeah, there you go. I mean, also, I've only been on one Sky Coaster in my lifetime. I absolutely loved it when I did it. It was the one at Magic Mountain, so it's a lot shorter than this I'm definitely pretty freaked out but honestly standing next to it I'm feeling a little bit more confident it doesn't look terribly bad um, but yeah I'm just really excited also before we get in I do want to say shout out to fun spot Kissimmee for providing unlimited ride wristbands for us today as well as that providing a ride on the sky coaster which in of itself is like 40 bucks a person so they're really saving us a lot of money and we can't wait to explore and spread some positive light on this place because it's a very cool small park it's a great option after going to one of the big ones so Let's go. Place is popping off. Because it's right next to Old Town, it's a very popular hangout spot. But the rides, very short waits. Nothing for Mind Blower. Let's do it. All right, it's time for the first ride of the day on Mind Blower. This is Sam's first time riding a big gravity group, which is pretty exciting. But it actually has some RMC retract sections. The, one of the first examples of RMC's 208 retract. It's gonna be very interesting to see how that feels, but I'm really looking forward to it. We just got off of Mind Blower, and I'll start by saying they didn't ruin it. It's still just as good as I remember, except it has these really, really weird transitions from the wood to the steel that are extremely violent. I don't know if rough is the word. They're just extremely abrupt and honestly a little uncomfortable. I do hope they do something about that. The wooden sections and the steel sections on their own are really fun. Good forces, the inversion's awesome. Tons of airtime on that. It's a really fun coaster, but man, that was a lot. I, that was just, that was a lot. That was tank, but so fun. I wasn't really paying attention to like the transitions between them, but I kind of want to rewrite it again and pay attention to that. I just thought that that was, that was really fun. It was, yeah, it was jank. It was rough, but like it was fun rough, fun, yeah. fun jank. It, it feels so like a fun. car crash. It's the most yeah, fun, yeah, it's the, the most, most fun spot at ride ever. The most fun car crash ever. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. I'm so glad. Yeah, let's, let's just get <laughs> let's right back on. Let's do a back row ride for you guys. Okay. Let's do it. So we couldn't get to the very back, but we are in row four. You can still like see how the train's gonna shake, how it violently jerks on the transitions. So it's, it, you're getting the same visual effect. Look at that sky coaster, that's terrifying. Oh my god. Here we go. Oh jeez. Oh my god! 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 Oh my
strange. It's, so strange. it's good, but it's strange. It's so fun, but it's so strange. What a weird ride. Yeah, that was odd, but it was so fun. Hey, Sky Coaster next. Oh my God, I am really nervous. As you can see, there's a person going up the Sky Coaster. So at least before riding, we can get a visual on just how it's gonna look. This thing is so tall. It is 300 feet, tallest one on earth. And I have basically just done the one at Magic Mountain. Not really that tall at all. Whoa! Whoa! That looks so fun. I really do think the drop in the swinging is going to be incredible. I'm just really nervous about the climb to the top. Okay, so um, we're on this. I'm really scared. Oh my good god. We're above water too, which makes it way worse. And honestly, yeah, I'm going to come out and say this is the scariest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just looking down at the camera. Look at there, our reflection in the water. Uh, I really don't want to do this. <laughs> Me either. We're at the top though. Oh, oh my god. Lord. Oh my god. Oh, oh I'm gonna have. A, I'm literally gonna have a heart attack. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna have a heart attack. Oh my god. It's okay. Take a deep breath. Oh my god. How close are we? Okay, we're here. That's not that bad. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Well, they say that it's like the closest thing in the world exactly. jumping off an airplane. That's how they advertise it. That was crazy. And honestly, not as scary as I thought. Like even, yeah. even considering the height, like it wasn't that terribly bad. That is one of the best feelings in the world to conquer something like that. We did it! Woo! Oh my God. Uh, review time. First of all, we like survived. We were alive after doing that, which is already a success. The second thing, is that was amazing and definitely like one of the best flat rides I've ever experienced, hands down. Honestly, the height of that, I know it looks crazy. It wasn't, it didn't even bother me as much as I expected it to. Like I've done the Sky Coaster at Magic Mountain, I know I've said it a couple times already. And really the height difference is not that noticeable. They all just kind of feel high. And as far as once you pull the ripcord and you're flying down, it's amazing. Flying into the sky and then just swinging, oh, it's incredible. That is an experience just unlike anything else. I'm so glad we had the opportunity and thank you so much to Fun Spot for allowing us to do that. That was insane. I was so scared on the way up, but once I pulled the ripcord, it's like just fun. Like you're just flying and it's, oh my God. But like being at the top and looking down, like seeing our reflection in the water. That's and, like, scary. That yeah. was terrifying, yeah. but once you're actually flying, it's like, wow, I'm flying. <laughs> and up next, another one of my favorite attractions here in the park is the go-kart tracks, particularly the Vortex track, which has this cool helix and then a big drop into like a double down. It's very cool. You get airtime on this thing. We're on the go-kart. Let's go! This is one of the most extreme courses I've ever experienced because look at this. You get airtime. go-karts that intense you actually wonder how is that considered a safe experience for people to just casually enjoy literally like i felt oh my god i i, I kind of like didn't like it like it's kind of stressful yeah, i prefer it's like scary. actual driving to be honest <laughs> like what was that it was terrifying to be honest yeah it's really scary the thing you have to keep in mind is no matter how hard you hit another vehicle nothing's gonna happen so as long as you keep that in the back of your mind you're good but yeah it's really crazy you're thrashed around everywhere and you are banging into other vehicles and you are going so fast that one has a huge drop that i've never seen even remotely similar size drops on any other go-kart track it's pretty crazy what do you think of the park so far this park is so like fun it's like 
It's in the name. Yeah, it's, so, it's such a fun spot. It's, it's like everyone here is just like hanging out and like it's so like active and fun here. It's unlike a fun spot Atlanta. It's a very, so it it's kind very of feels a like a permanent carnival, but like in such a good, it's so nice. It's so nice. Yep. It's so good here. I and love right, it. It's right so fun. Right next door is Old Town, which is just this really nice area with lots of live music, lots of restaurants. And actually, if you head in either direction of Old Town, you'll find even more rides that are included on the wristband with Fun Spot Kissimmee, even though technically they're located outside the park. One of those is actually another roller coaster, so we'll head to that now and see if it's operating. What a surprise! We're on Hurricane, which is one of the biggest ENF Myler roller coasters in the world. It's a janky pile of garbage, but I love it. It's so much fun. Also, last time I rode this, I've only been on it once, it took me three separate trips to Fun Spot to get on because it was closed literally just because the track was wet all day. So it, I thought it couldn't run at all after rain, and it had rain this morning, so I was like, we're probably out of luck. Here we are on it, though. So stable. This thing is, yeah, no kidding. This thing is uh, very weird. Get ready. Whoa! Oh! Woo! Look at the turn radius! Oh, it makes no sense. Ah! Ah! Oh my god! Yeah, literally. Unreal. Oh no! What is this thing? It's so strange. Whoa! It's so weird. Woo! <laughs> this feels like one of those janky fairground roller coasters. You did say this was kind of felt like a permanent carnival, so there you go. Super strange, but fun ride. Wow. That was, like a that was lot fun. of the things that here. Strange, fun. but fun. Well, there we go. A ride on Hurricane. A surprising addition to our day, but honestly, a lot of fun. The thing feels completely janky and so messed up. It's as if you pushed a shopping cart on roller coaster rails. It's like a Dr. Doofenshmirtz and Nader. I'm saying that on the ride. It's such a weird like contraption. I feel like calling it a roller coaster isn't even accurate. It's a contraption. It's a contraption. It's like just this thing that does things to your body. You get in this cart and you're on a wild ride. It's so odd. It's so it's so jank and so odd. But it was. I think it's got charm. I though. guess it was fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Why not? Got one more roller coaster we want to do. We're gonna pass on the kids coaster, but there is a spinning wild mouse over in the actual fun spot portion of the park. I've done many of these. I've even gotten this credit here. It's nothing too special, but may as well get on it because she needs the credit. So, oh wow, you came running at me. I was, I was back there taking a picture. I'm excited to do the last credit, which is a spinning, stop. I'm excited to do the last credit, which is a spinning wild mouse. And I've only done one, which is Raging Cajun. I thought that was fun. So let's see this. The bull ride is at an amusement park is crazy. What in the world? Bro is about to die. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh, it's over. Here she is. It's Fun Spot Kitty right in front of the flyers. If you guys are ever here and you want to just see a random cat, there you go. She just lives here at the theme park. And I've seen her here for literally years since my first visit in 2018. This is our second time seeing a cat that lives in a theme park. The first one at Bush Gardens Tampa in front of Iron Gwazi. And here we go. Got another roller coaster to get on. Galaxy spin. All right, we're on this janky thing. We're off balance. So let's see how much we spin in the second half. It literally just crawls through the first half. It's actually really boring, to be honest. <laughs> That's all. That's all it does. No way. It's not even bad. This is definitely one of the better parts of the ride coming up. You have a pretty sizable drop. Oh! You did a very hard turn. Oh my god! Oh jeez. Ah! Double up. Oh! 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 Oh god. Oh shoot! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! I did not expect this! Oh my god! Are you joking? It's gonna derail! Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Are you? Oh! 
Oh, I am nauseous. I am so dizzy. Oh, oh, what was that? Well, we're just wrapping up a visit here to Fun Spot Kissimmee, and honestly, that is an amazing place for what it is. It's just perfect if you're coming after a day at Disney or Universal or SeaWorld or any of the parks nearby. It only takes a couple hours. We were in and out in less than two hours and did everything we wanted to do. We just got off of Mind Blower at night too, and that was running so fast. Absolutely a highlight for sure. But that Sky Coaster, man, how can that be topped? That was an incredible experience. I'm so grateful we were able to do that. And coming here tonight also really makes me excited to get to Fun Spot Orlando, so that will be tomorrow after our day at Universal Studios Florida. There's lots of vlogs coming, so stay tuned. Our Uber is going to be here in like one minute, but what'd you think? I think this place is so fun. It's such a fun spot, and they have some really jank rides, but they're so fun. <laughs> it's fun. That's all you could say. It's a fun Dave. spot. Dave. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon.